Now let's look at problem number 19. In problem number 19, I'd like to determine whether the mean value theorem applies to the function f of x is equal to e to the x on the interval from 0 to ln of 4. And if so, let's find the points that are guaranteed to exist by the mean value theorem. Okay, real quick review of the mean value theorem. The mean value theorem says that if f is continuous on this interval and uh, f is differentiable on the open interval from 0 to ln of 4, then that means that there's a place where the derivative of this function is equal to the slope of the secant line between these two points. Okay? So, to figure out whether or not the mean value theorem even applies to this function, we really just need to ask ourselves two questions. First of all, is this function continuous on this closed interval? And the answer to that is yes. e to the x is a nice continuous function. It's continuous everywhere, not just on this closed interval. So since this e to the x is a function that's continuous everywhere, certainly it is continuous on this closed interval. Secondly, f of x is e to the x, whose derivative is also e to the x, so it's differentiable everywhere. And if it's differentiable, then it's certainly differentiable on the open interval from 0 to ln of 4. So the mean value theorem does apply, and so I need to figure out what is the slope of the secant line here. So to figure out the slope of the secant line, I need to know what is f of 0 and what is f of ln so let's figure this out real quick. Since f of x is equal to e to the x, then f of 0 is e to the 0, and f of ln of 4 is e to the ln of 4. e to the 0 is 1, e to the ln of 4 is 4. So these are the functional values of those two points. So if I'm trying to find the slope of the secant line, then that's going to be f of ln of 4 minus f of 0 divided by ln of 4 minus 0. Well, f of ln of 4 we figured out was 4. f of 0 we figured out was 1. So it's 4 minus 1 over ln of 4 minus 0, which is just ln of 4. In other words, it's 3 over ln of 4. OK, so that is the slope of the secant line. And what the mean value theorem tells me is that then somewhere the derivative of this function uh, has, I, I'm sorry, the slope of this function is 3 over ln of 4, somewhere in between 0 and ln of 4. So I need to take the derivative and set it equal to 3 over ln of 4 and see what x would be. Okay, so let's look at this function. f of x is e to the x. So pretty clearly f prime of x is also e to the x. And I want to set that equal to 3 over the ln of 4 and solve for x. So I'll say that 3 over ln of 4 is equal to e to the x. So I need to take ln of both sides. So I get that ln of 3 over ln of 4 is equal to x. Now, you may or may not believe that this value, ln of 3 over ln of 4, is in between 0 and ln of 4, but it is. Uh, you could check it out with your calculator. I believe this is like 0.77 or something like that. So this is the x that I'm looking for that is guaranteed to exist by the mean value.